That was a hard sentence to say. Dakota eats Qdoba. <laughs> Dakota eats Qdoba. Yeah, Dakota, there's Qdoba. a lot of Oda. Dakota <laughs> Qdoba. Daddy Dakota. Stop. <laughs> what, is, God, <laughs> what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of From the Gallery. I'm Gels. I'm Dakota. And I'm Dustin. Welcome, Dustin. Have you done an episode of From the Gallery before? Yes. So you know what For you're truck getting stuff. Into. Yeah. Let's about. clarify it. Dustin is not only a good old Wisconsin. Guy. We have the Wisconsin Car Enthusiast Club, and Dustin likes to work and do stuff with car shows and all that good stuff. Isn't that right, Dustin? Yeah, correct. So I'm VP of event operations. Hell so. yeah. He's also a judge. Correct. And we call Our him judge. to get the fudge. So we have four cars from the Fitment Industries Gallery. Easiest way to get on the show if you want your car features is to add your car at Fitment Industries Gallery over at www.fitmentindustries.com <laughs> forward slash add. Add your car and then shoot us an email, shop at Fitment Industries with the subject line, review my car, please and thank you. Tell These things. aren't just four cars, they're four special cars. Oh yeah? If you didn't know, we have a giveaway going on with we Cosmos, Silvers, and Michelin. Oh. Win all that by picking up this dope hoodie at FitmentIndustries.com. And all of these four cars are running Cosmos <laughs> wheels. So it's super dope. Gotcha. I'm excited. I love I Cosmos like it. wheels, this should be fun. All right, all right, first car. Woo! We have 2014 Honda Civic running some Cosmos Racing XT206Rs, staggered setup, front-wheel drive, staggered setup, 18x9 plus 30 in the front, 18x9.5 plus 10 in the rear on some Federal 595s, airlift performance, air suspension. This is Lost Outlaw 420s. This is JDM as f yo. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm a big fan of Civic SIs. This is pretty wild. Okay. This is pretty crazy. Uh, I like the lip on here. The wrap is, it's a bit much for me. I mean, <laughs> okay, yeah, a little right. kind of crazy, a little much. <laughs> and then you come to the rear end and that's a little bit much too. I mean, that's a big <laughs> wing coming directly out of the license plate. <laughs> They had to move like, the they, license plate. They, I think they just used the holes for the license plate. <laughs> bolted it on. It's not even a real that's chassis what it kind of, it just bolts to the back. That's what it kind of looks like. It's quite the license plate spacer there. Yeah, yeah and then they just have the license plate. Oh, this is this is a bit much. It doesn't look terrible. If you're really into anime, all right, I'll, I'll let it slide. Uh, the wheels look good. They fit pretty well. I would take the wing off and just run that carbon fiber duct bill you got on there. I think that looks really good. Sure. And then I'd maybe lose the, the light blue tire lettering. Stuff like that. All right, car show judge. Oh, oh, I like it. I like it a lot, actually. Um, I think the wrap is a little much, sure. but for the design, like the overall flow that he's, that he's got going on, I like this a lot. I, I'm a big proponent of tire stickers, uh, so Dakota can at they're me if he wants weird. to. But like, they're just weird. I think they're weird. super neat. They're light blue. It doesn't fit the colors. I wish they were. I wish they were. No, because it matches her hair. It's ah. the same color, Dakota. That's why it's there. Okay. I don't know, I, I think it's neat. I think it's really well done, and I think it's something you don't see a lot of. I know this like kind of style to cars has been pretty like common uh, throughout the last years. I don't know how popular it is like much anymore. Sure. Specifically with like the big wings and then like these crazy uh, liveries and stuff like that, especially like the, like, the anime wraps. Correct. I feel like we're really big a couple years ago. Cosmos wheels, solid choice. I like that he's on air too, and yeah. he's got like a good like wheel tire setup going on. Like there's not like a crazy amount of stretch or anything like that. Uh, the car itself doesn't sit like crazy low, it looks like. That front lip obviously helps because it's a massive mm -hmm. uh, front lip. But I like what he's got like going for it. The wrap, personally, I'm not a huge fan of. I think like the design of it's like super cool, but not something that I would do personally. But overall, I think it's pretty cool. It's wild, I'm sure he's It's different, it. that's for sure. I'll give yeah, you that right. one. You ready to give it a rating? Oh one yeah. To, one to 10, on three. One, two, three, seven. 8.5. <laughs> wow. Alrighty, up like next on to our second car. We have a 1995 Lexus SC300. These are, These are so Woo! Mm -hmm. Been seeing this one requested quite a bit recently in the So You Want series and everything like that. So here we have a 1995 Cosmos XT006Rs. Mm -hmm. 18 by nine and a half plus 10 in the front, 18 by 11 plus eight in the rear. That's a thick boy. That is a thick boy. This is a Flockalicious's. Ooh, Flocka uh, 1990. Hell yeah. Let's so go ahead and take her over. Yeah, all right. Flocka! First of great. all, kudos to this dude for high quality gallery pictures. 
Hey, that's awesome. Hey. I like it. I like it a lot. I think the the white on white is really just a super clean mm -hmm. and simple look. Uh, fender liners removed, wiring harness relocated, full no body kick kit. It's a vertex front and skirts with an AC rear bumper. I like it. I think it's super clean. Um, it looks really good. They're one of those cars that like you have to modify yes. to make them yeah. look good. Stock, they're ugly. Stock <laughs> ugly cars. And then you see them like lowered on some wheels. I think the yeah, body kit really yeah. kind of helps a lot too. I don't know how I feel about the body kit personally. I think the style and everything is 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 right. The fitment on it looks a little off though. But overall, I think it's a cool car. Um, that is a, a solid setup for this kind of car. It's like, yeah. it feels like you just go rip this thing around and it's gonna handle and do everything that you want it to do. So I really like it. I've always liked these cars, been a fan of these cars. I love seeing them done up. Mm -hmm. I, I really like the white on white and I think the, uh, just the simple six spoke design of these wheels really helps the look of this car and it goes with it because it has a body kit, but it overall is just a very simplistic right. setup. Nothing too crazy, nothing wild, but it, it looks clean and it looks, Nice. I'd like to maybe see a little bit more done to it, but overall, I think it's a nice, clean, simple build. All right, ready to rate it? Yeah. All right, on three. One, two, three, Nine. seven. Nine. Up next, car number three, 2013 Mazda Mazda Speed 3. On some Cosmos mm -hmm. Racing MR2s. Staggered setup. It's a hot hatch, baby. 18 mm -hmm. by nine and a half plus 15 in the front, 18 by 10 and a half plus 20 in the rear on some BC Racing coilovers and Nitto Neogen tires. Your like boy. Your setup. Project underscore Mr. Chuck. Chuck. <laughs> Chuck. Right off the bat, this thing is static, right? This thing is also low as f Overall, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot done like outside of like the wheels and suspension on this thing. That is a lot of camber in the rear. Holy crap, negative 11 degrees in the rear, well, negative three in the front. Well, to fit that with the spacer, to, and right. I think it was a luck he was going yeah. for. But I, I kind of dig the clean look to it, you know? Like, these cars are already pretty aggressive, especially this year, like from the factory. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't really need a ton, so I think the concavity on those wheels really sets it off. I think the wheels look great, mm -hmm. first of all. That concave wheel design is... Yeah, the MR2s the are car. really good for that. If you're looking for a good concave wheel, the MR2s are a solid option. Yeah, these look great. I think that he has like just the little bits that tie it together. So sure. the camber's a little aggressive for me, but it's not terrible. I like the, he's like, he's blacked out the rear lights. He's mm -hmm. got pretty dark tint on it. I think it, it ties together really well with that color. And then those, I assume these are like a gun metal. Yeah, the gun yeah, metal. Yeah, hyper black. I like it. Cool. Right, so yeah, it's a very simple setup. I think you guys pretty much nailed all of it. I think having the spacer in the rear is a bit excessive. I don't think the camber is necessary. I personally, I never say this, but I would raise it a tit bit. Really? Just a little bit because I'd like to see a splitter on the car. And okay. then I know right. they make some nasty diffusers for these that look super aggressive sure. and awesome. And I really like the look of those. So that's personally what I'd do. I'd like to see a little bit arrow on this thing, but I love the MR2s on there and then the gray color, like to go with the car contrast super well. Um, I love the concave, the MR2s. They might be like my favorite Cosmos wheel. I really like the XC206R also, but the MR2 really does it for me. I like this thing. Cool. Ready to rate it? Yeah. All right. On three. One last look. One right. last look. I'm ready. On three. One, two, three, eight. eight. Fourth and final car of the day. We have a 2013 Cyan FRS. Oh, it's your boy. Sitting on some XT206Rs, Cosmos Racing, of course. 18 by 11 plus eight all around. So that can only tell me one thing. Whoa. We do have a wide body FRS. Sitting on some Air Ride Technologies, Air Suspension, Toyo Praxis R888Rs. Ooh, the Ooh. R888s. Oh boy. So this, uh, we don't have an IG tag here, it looks like, unfortunately, but Dakota, you can go ahead and take it sure. right here. So this thing looks aggressive as hell. And also like, I'm getting kind of sick of the whole wide body thing. I like just seeing car stock body now. But this car pulls it off, it does it well. I can't be mad at it. It, it's, it looks really good. I love the 206Rs on this. Uh, it looks aggressive. I mean, the louvers on the rear window, just bring it together. I love louvers. I'm not even mad about the big wing and the duck bill. The car does it for me. I love it. Okay. I do. Wow. I, love I love everything about this. I think the black on black looks really good. The wide body looks great. I know that the wide body thing is kind of overplayed yeah. lately, yeah. but these cars, hands down, bar none, always look good with yeah. wide body to me. Always. They always look good. The wheel choice is great. That's a meaty tire on there. It is. Air ride because. R888. Psh, 
you know, I mean, I'm about it. I love it. Mm -hmm. I love it. You know, hits a little home to me. He's got the nice boomerang style headlights in the front. You got the boomerang. Valenti tail lights in the ooh, back, ooh. the Panem V3 kit, the louvers. Everything is going really, really solid here. The air ride, the R triple eights, like it's a very, very solid car. The thing with wide bodies is like, you're most likely going to have to go with a multi-piece yeah. and those get a little pricey. Correct. So he probably, you know, balled out on everything. I don't think he was worried about price. Yeah, well, no. Maybe he balled out on everything else. And <laughs> he's like, <laughs> <laughs> All right, on the count of three. One, two, three, nine. Point five. Right. No, I think it's really cool. I think it's done super well. I'm looking at it from like a show perspective right. and what we see here. We don't see a lot of cars like that. It's put together well. The paint looks good. The wheels look yeah, good. The tires good. look yeah. good. The lights look good. It, just, it looks Everything. good. Yeah. It just all good. meshed together. together. Yeah. yeah. So that is going to wrap it up for this episode of From the Gallery. Thank you guys so much for watching. And of course, if you want your car featured in an upcoming episode, add it to our gallery. It's like the largest online fitment gallery like ever. True. It's like awesome. And you can find out cool specs to Freaking help pick out wheels. So add your car, fitment industry com forward slash ad. There it is. And then shoot us an email, shop at feminindustries.com with a subject line, review my car. We'll get it added into our awesome spreadsheet of aftermarket cars. Well, that's going to wrap it up for today. Don't forget wheel tire suspension, feminindustries.com. Don't forget about the giveaway. Yep. I'm Gels. Daddy. <laughs> I'm Dustin. <laughs> we'll see you later. Just run it. It's fine. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs>